Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Lollavita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Suprema Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family-run business. No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. you all and welcome to the Irish in the UK. Coming up on the show this week, Chris and Tina Whitehead and James and Audrey Keenan organised a big Irish festival in Warrington last year. Well this year they wanted to continue on with that tradition in conjunction with the Warrington Irish Club. But first up, we're attending St Patrick's Day Parade in Manchester. There have been times we were willing Take some stranger's shilling And do what must be done Not as a chore From time to time We've been crazy And sometimes we were lazy But we were always Irish To the core We have been many things To many men But that won't change the way we are Of this one thing we know We can be sure For after all is said and all is done And that judgment day has come We know that we were Irish to the core John, celebrating 30 years of St Patrick's Day Parade in Manchester It's a fantastic day, we've got 30 years of the parade 25 years of Manchester Irish Festival What a glorious day and the weather's, you know, sun's out for us and everything It's a great day yeah, and of course the Mass here this morning at the Irish World Heritage Centre was lovely, lovely celebrated, a great crowd for it as well. It's always important that we start our celebrations with a, a Mass. You know, we can't forget this is a St. Patrick's celebration. Let's never forget that. So that's a great start for our parade. You've got lots of new people involved here as well this year. Yeah, it's a bigger crowd than ever. I mean, we all know about the situation in the country and across the world. And, we, you know, we're mindful of this situation of people's health and safety. They've all taken precautions. Nobody's shaking hands. Everybody's been careful, but celebrating as well. They are celebrating. And we've got to bear this in mind. You know, this is a parade in the open. Uh, if you go to the local supermarkets, you go to the big arenas, uh, you know, the pack with 21,000. This is about 2,000 people on a parade. And let's get it in context. I'm well aware of the situation that may develop next week. We took scientific advice off the government. We wouldn't have gone ahead risking our health, our children's or the elderly. And what we said to anyone with any medical conditions or if you're elderly, the best thing is to make that personal choice and not be involved this year and we'll miss them but we understand exactly why they're not here today. Down the years the parade has suffered with uh, bad weather, all sorts of things and look at it's great to see it continuing. We, we have and uh, you know, we've, we've had snow, we've had sleet and this is a very serious thing. Let's not underestimate yeah. what's happening in our country but Manchester's had some terrible times, we've had riots, we've had the, the likes of the IRA bomb where it decimated the city but the Irish community have always worked together. We need as an Irish community, watch our elderly, the vulnerable, and I hope that listeners to this just think about those in the next coming weeks that don't leave people isolated, 
be kind to everyone. It's really important that we all work together, we pull together. We know lots of people have different points of view, we all have different points, even the government has different points of view, but at the end of the day, we've all got to help each other. Exactly, and as the Irish community in Manchester, we've got to work extra hard. We've always been there. We, we understand that, uh, our, the value of this community to this country, and what we've got to do is go forward with that. When there's a time of crisis, the Irish community have to look after its own, but not just its own, everyone else around us, our neighbours, it doesn't matter what nationality or what the background, we as the Irish community will be there for this city and this country. Well done to you for keeping the St Patrick's Day Parade going 30 years, well done, a good celebration today, let's go ahead and enjoy. Martin, it's a, I want to do a special thanks to all our sponsors, especially to the Irish community, the counties and all the volunteers, they, the volunteers come out and do this for nothing. It's been a hard year but we'll carry on as long as there's an Irish festival and a Manchester Irish festival, but thanks to all the support we're getting. Ollie, many congratulations. I believe you recently celebrated your 80th birthday. Correct, yeah, correct, yeah. Where do you come from? County Meath. And who made this beautiful flag for you? Pat Duff's wife. And Duff. You know Pat? Yeah. Yeah, his wife. And Duff. Um, yeah. So you're here celebrating the parade today? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Are you going to do a bit of singing? Oh, I don't, 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 don't want to clear all the crowd away. <laughs> so where did you get this lovely hat from? Tommy Duffy. Right. And who are you here with today? Uh, my daughter and my, wa my wife outside and my granddaughter. Uh, wow, there's a big crowd of you and you're all, uh, you're all dressed up for the occasion. Uh, yeah, we are, we are. He's, he's wanting to come in it this year because he was 18, he said, because it's been so many years for the parade, he wants to represent me and he wants to st let everyone know that he's still going yep. and he's going strong. Yes, yeah. need for the All Ireland this year. Oh, yeah. 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 My mum's a Kerry woman, so there's a bit of a there's a bit of a competition between the two. Of and me. you've got the hard job to do. Are you going to push them all the way to town? We're going to share that job. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any reward at the end of it? Is it paying up? No, just happiness. Now, tell me, where are you from? Hello, we're from Bar Pop in the heart of Manchester, on Canal Street. Wow, you're well dressed up for the occasion today. I know, well, you see, I'm Irish, you see. I might not have the accent, but I'm Irish, and that's all that matters. What part are you from, then? County Fermanagh. Oh, right. County Fermanagh. Anna from Fermanagh. Yes, that's me. Well, and truly from Fermanagh. And a skill in County Fermanagh, to be true. How long has it taken you to get ready today? We've been up since 7 o'clock this morning, getting ready. It's taken me as long to see the way you've combed your hair there. I'll give you some hints. <laughs> anyway, are you taking part in the parade? We're glad this is the first year we're taking part in the parade and we're honoured that we've been invited to take part. Absolutely. We've been supporting the festival now for five years and uh, this year John, the chair, said, would you like to take part in the parade? And we said, yes, we'd love to. And you've got a lovely group here with you today as well. Yeah, we've got a great group and half the group are actually uh, Irish heritage. You know, so, you know, everyone who's coming in from the bar that's actually part of Ireland in some way or another. You know, you've got a great pair of shoes on you. Will you, be, will you make it to town carrying them? They told me it's only a short route. I found out it's nearly two miles, so I'm not too sure now. <laughs> Listen, enjoy the day. Cheers to you, sir. Thanks for having us. Lord Mayor, great to see you here today. Yes, uh, thank you. It's an honour and privilege to be here today to attend the Irish Parade. Is this your first time at the parade? I know it's uh, so many times I attended as a local councillor, but the first time as a Lord Mayor I'm attending. And of course it's great to see a lot of the community out here today in difficult times. Yes, of course. And as you know, as much as diverse, multicultural, multi city, promoting tolerance, equality, friendship and understanding between all the communities. And his Irish community is playing a very vital role in our great city. 
Of course, you're Lord Mayor of Manchester. Now it's coming up to May. Do you think you'll be continuing on after May? There may be no elections this year. Notice I will finish on 20th May, but it's just a local election for mayor, elected mayor and constantly it has been postponed for next year. Enjoy the day today. We hope you do. Of course, and I hope everybody will enjoy today. Joe, of course, you've been a great supporter of the Irish Parade down the years. 15 years, Martin. It was 10 years on the go before I come on board. So it's been a fantastic cultural day here. And we're so lucky the year we're one of the few that has survived the 2020 parade today. So I am one of the oldest in all, too. I'm sad to say there's so many people now that used to be here we'll be talking with. They're no longer with us. They're gone. And not many of my generation left. It's great to see so many people here today. The tradition has been carried on by the younger generations. The dedication of John Flanagan and people like him is fantastic. I don't think we'd have a parade without them. Yeah. Plus our Irish councillors in the town hall, yeah. Manchester City Council, they have been fantastic. The Irish contributed a lot to Manchester, but their pain is back now, you know. I have to say the Manchester City Council have been really supportive down the year. Fantastic. Without them, we wouldn't, it wouldn't, the parade wouldn't have been such a success. It's like the year now, the town hall, Manchester Town Hall is out of commission for four years owing to work has been carried out. Yeah. And the found it's a great place down off Deansgate. Yeah. And it's, a lot, it's turned into a great uh, museum. It's owned support by the council. But they've given that to us and it's been bars put into it and a great social occasion that will be there this weekend. Yeah. So the Council of All has been fantastic to us here over the years. Of course, Joe, you've been involved in lots of Irish things here in the city down the years. And of course, you're a great Leithrum man. I am 60 years here in, Ma in the city of Manchester. And uh, I was 19 when I come here. And this has been a fantastic city for the Irish, a great homely place. We have worked hard here. The city provides us with housing and we are living and, we've, and we have also been able to hang on to our Irish heritage as well, our religion and our heritage. There never was any dis discrimination against us. So Manchester is a fantastic place, a great city. No Hope you all enjoyed watching the St. Patrick's Day Parade from Manchester. Now it's time for us to take a little break. Eurogold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Eurogold work in a wide range of industry sectors including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. IJK's Scrap Metal, Manchester. We provide payment for scrap metal, removal and disposal of cars and abandoned vehicles. A Weybridge facility, authorised treatment facility, recycling and waste management. Full compliance with all legal requirements. IJK Scrap Metal, Manchester. A friendly, professional and reliable service. Supreme Upholstery Limited is a manufacturer of quality bespoke upholstered furniture. Come along with your ideas for that perfect sofa to fit your home and let Supreme bring your ideas to fruition. We also offer a service to the contract market, including large hotel groups and small family-run business. No matter how large or how small your order, you will always get that personal service from our sales team. Come along and visit our showroom. The Warrington Irish Club, 83 Orford Lane, Warrington. A friendly and welcoming club, keeping the Irish culture alive. We have Irish and country music every Saturday night. 
tribute nights, race nights, charity nights and karaoke. All live sports shown on the big screens. We have snooker, dominoes and crown green bowling teams along with arts and crafts. Pop in for a friendly welcome and to book your event at the Warrington Irish Club, give Frank a call. Lala Vita is an award-winning, independently run Italian restaurant. Located on Rose Lane in the heart of Liverpool, real Italian style dishes, using the best ingredients, skillfully prepared by our chefs. Come and try our serious Italian experience. Buckhurst Plant Hire, operating nationwide and supplying equipment to the construction, civil engineering and utility industries. Buckhurst is synonymous with quality equipment and excellent service. Call us today. IJK's Scrap Metal, Manchester. We provide payment for scrap metal, removal and disposal of cars and abandoned vehicles. A Weybridge facility, authorised treatment facility, recycling and waste management. Full compliance with all legal requirements. IJK Scrap Metal, Manchester. A friendly, professional and reliable service. Euro Gold is driven by being the best civil engineering contractor in the Northwest, ensuring its clients are given the highest level of service that they deserve. Euro Gold work in a wide range of industry sectors, including house building, highways, commercial and industrial build. Welcome back. Now we are off to the Warrington Irish Club to celebrate the Warrington Irish Festival and what a great day's entertainment they put on. Chris, you're a very proud granddad today. I am, I am. I've got the young fella, the, the third grandchild, Martin. It's fantastic, fantastic. Now, tell me about little Coley. How, uh, how old is he? Coley, as you saw, we're three months old, Martin. Have you introduced him to the uh, Cliffs of Moor yet and the Hills of Clare? He's actually going over for Easter. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is, he is. Oh. And he's so quiet. I think he likes television, you know. Oh, they, he wants to be famous, he said. <laughs> Now, Chris, yourself and James, of course, put in so much work here. I know it was something you always wanted to do, the Warrington Irish Festival. Last year was a big, big hit. And, of course, this year, honestly, you must be so happy here at the Warrington Irish Club. Well, we filled the club, and I think it's fantastic. I know we're inside. We won't have as, the crowd as big, but it's, been, it's a big success today, yeah. yeah. And it's great for the Irish people out here around Warrington uh, to have something in their own area. Yeah, it's great to have it in the area, Martin, like, you know, because uh, the people come from far afield as well today, so it's great. You've got great support here. Yeah, we have, Martin. Uh, we always get good support, you know, so that's basically, yeah. Now, it's going to be a great weekend, St. Patrick's weekend, of course. You've got the parade tomorrow and then St. Patrick's Day on Tuesday. Yeah, they've got a mass here in the morning at half past nine, and then they start walking into the town centre at half past ten. And that's always well supported as well, isn't it? Yeah, there'll be a lot of people here from the town, yeah, you know. There's a big Irish contingent in this catchment area, isn't there? Around St Helens, Warrington, Widnes, Wigan. Yeah, I think, I think we do very well because you've got Manchester and Liverpool and St Helens, like you said. But we're like in the middle and, you know, I think we do, the club does very well. Well, you can see yourself on TV, when you look at it on TV, it's unbelievable, you know. Well, listen, enjoy your day, enjoy the festival, and look at Coley. I think he's going to do a bit of dancing before the day is out. It'll be Irish dancing soon. Uh, could I just thank uh, the Warrington Irish Club for, you know, what they do for the gathering, please? Yeah, OK. Of course you can. I am um, Jacqueline and Frank and Eileen. They do a great job here. Oh, they do. They do fantastic work. You know, to keep this club going how it is, it's unbelievable. <laughs>
James, what a day here at the Warrington Irish Festival. It's absolutely unbelievable, Martin. I just can't believe the crowd that's come into this and the Irish dancers were superb. And the atmosphere in there is really building now. I can't even explain how we feel. We just it's just like emotional. We're nearly crying watching them little dancers and unbelievable. Now, of course, you put a lot of work into getting to where we are today here with the Warrington Irish Festival, your second anniversary as well. Yes, it's the second anniversary, Martin, and it couldn't, go, it couldn't have gone any better. And you know, there's a wonderful amount of people here entertaining the crowd tonight. You've got great music, great dancers, lovely singers, everything going on. Yeah, they're all here. The Celtic Fecklers is on at the moment as we speak. You've had the dancers, and it's just got everything. It's up, I just can't get over how, how brilliant it's been. I'm looking forward to the ukulele band coming out. Yes, they'll be on shortly and uh, my son plays with them and I just, we, they're a great bunch of people, great bunch of people. Now Audrey, I know you were a very proud mum last year because I was watching you when your son was playing with the ukulele band and he's here again today. He is, he's just here helping, um, he's not had as much time this year what was school and football but he's here in the background helping out, he's not playing this year. Well, I know, like Tina Whitehead and yourself, you put an awful lot of work in behind the lads here in the background as well. Oh, it's worth it in the end, up. but when everything comes together, it, it, it works nicely, doesn't it? And I've met one or two Donegal people in there as well. I know, if you listen in the background, they're just playing Hills of Donegal as well. <laughs> so you're on for the parade tomorrow? We are, an early start, yeah, but picking the grandchildren up at half nine to come. And it's always a great occasion here in Warrington as well. Yeah, oh, the, the, there's always a good turnout and if the weather's dry, that's a, a bonus, isn't it? Emma, tell me a little bit about the Robinson Downey School of Irish Dancing. Um, we started about seven years ago uh, at the Warrington Irish Club. Um, we have classes here Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays, sometimes Sundays. I believe that you're a world champion dancer as well. Yeah, I, um, I won the world championships in 1997, so not too long ago. <laughs> now Nicola, you've had a great response in there. Good crowd here today as well. Yeah, fantastic. It's great to get all the children families together in a social environment um, and celebrating our heritage really. Yeah. Well absolutely and of course your dancers put on a great display in there and everybody appreciated it. Yeah absolutely, lots of hard work goes into uh, conjuring up those, those performances, especially we've got some so little as three up to the age of you know 12, 13 so Lots of hours gone into that. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, you've danced at world championship level as well. Tell me about that. Yes, um, danced for many years competitively. Highest ranking was third in the world. Um, and both Emma and I just we love passing on what we what we learnt as children, really. Yeah. So, how did you first get into Irish dancing? Um, well, big sister here next to me was already in into the Irish dancing, and my mum took me along and took me a bit longer than Emma to get into it. But finally got there about age 13, started to really, uh, really get better. So, tell me a little bit about your Irish heritage. One set of grandparents are from Roscommon, and the other set are from Dublin. A club in Warrington um, did Irish evenings called the Wild Geese and Irish dancing classes started there so our grandparents told our parents uh, to take us along so they did and we've absolutely loved it ever since. Nicola, tell me a little bit about your classes here at the Warrington Irish Club. So we have three classes a week at the Irish Club. We have an RD8 elite class that's for our comp competitive dancers. Then we have um, a class on Wednesday which is for all age, ages and ability. Same on Saturday we have four hours here on a Saturday morning nine, nine through till one so we're here Quite, quite often. Mike, of course, you're heavily involved here at the Warrington Irish Club as well with different events. Tell me about that. 
Yeah, we did. Um, me, myself and Jackie here, my right hand lady, as they often call her. Um, we, we do uh, monthly tribute nights and we have acts coming from all over Great Britain, from all over the. And the top, top acts, they're not, they're not your usual uh, run of the mill stuff. We only stick with the top, top acts. And uh, yeah, every month we're selling out with big help from Jackie, as I say. We're selling the club out once a month. So yeah, it's great. And of course, tribute nights uh, are just, just, they're just wonderful, yeah. And then, Why have they taken off so much, the tribute night? Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't actually know, but myself and Jackie were just so glad that they have because um, every month you can guarantee it's a sellout. And uh, what night uh, is it on, you know, at each month? They're primarily on a Friday evening because uh, obviously the club's used on a Saturday evening for the traditional Irish events that, that they have every uh, Saturday. But uh, So yeah, Friday's once a month, but the dates do vary on, on once a month. You're very busy today, you're, peop you're moving people on and off the stage, doing the MC work and keeping everybody entertained. Yeah, yeah, and it's a great it's a great event to be involved with, of course. I mean, everything we do at the club here, it's only, always a pleasure. Uh, myself and a friend of ours, Moggy, he's, he's, he's in there doing a bit. Uh, yeah, we're compounding the afternoon and coordinating the events as it were which is nothing but a pleasure Martin. Jackie of course you do lots of things here for the Irish community and of course Wednesday's a big day for you as well. Yeah we have an over 50s luncheon club um, it's, it's supported by the Emerson Immigrant Support Programme they come along and they have a pie and a cake and a games of bingo open the box and raffles so it's a great afternoon everyone uh, enjoys it. And of course the Warrington Club is a family orientated club with your mum and dad heavily involved. Yes, my mum and dad have been on the committee for many years so they, uh, I just got once you come you get hooked, <laughs> hooked on the place so it's really, it's doing really, really well. We have got um, Facebook and we've also got a website that we just, uh, what's up and coming so we're just looking at getting the website but obviously we have leaflets and around the place so. Well listen, well done to you both today and it's a great, great day here. It's a pleasure to be here with you all. Thank you very much Martin. Always a pleasure Martin to see yourself and Annette and I uh, just want to say what a grand job. Jackie and her partner Steve are doing down here at the club. They work ever so hard and uh, all credit to them for getting the club to where it is today. I ask your friend, what's a fella to do? Cause her hair was black and her eyes are blue. Well, I'm you right then. I've been taking a world around the southern brown with the Galway girl. Well done to everybody who came along to entertain the crowd at the Warrington Irish Festival. Now that brings us to the end of the show for this week. Don't forget Henry McGlade is back next week on Thursday evening at 7 o'clock with his show from County Mayo and we are here at 7.30 with the Irish in the UK. Until then, stay safe and take care of yourselves. Hey.